Hello everyone, I am Darkest Knight from Lion Mods, and today I want to show you how to install Minecraft mods. This short video will be the first in a series of tutorial videos about our Attack on Titan Minecraft mod Wings of Freedom. So, to get yourself started with any Minecraft mod, first you need to head to for Minecraft Forge. This is the URL. I'll also put it in the description of this video. And there you have all kinds of Minecraft versions here at the side. You go to the one you want. For our mod you need 1.16.5. There show all versions. Then you see a bunch of versions here. And we're gonna use... Uh, oh yeah, you also get the... This, the website also shows you the latest and recommended version. And we'll get, uh, let's get the latest version. I'll press on installer. It directs you to this side. You'll just have to wait a few seconds. And it downloads Forge. That's my antivirus program, no worries. <coughs> so, once you have it, is it still downloading? Hmm. So, yeah, once you have it, you click on it and then it will open up this window. Here uh, you'll have to, it automatically selects the default path for Minecraft. If you have ins Minecraft installed in any other directory, you need to change this path. But uh, since I have Minecraft in the standard, dire uh, standard directory, I'll just press OK. Oh yeah, there, are, there were three options, install client, install server, and one I forgot, but uh, you just need to install client. Install server is for when you want to manually install Forge on a server, as the name suggests, but that's a little more complicated and nothing we're gonna cover in this video. Yeah, the installation process takes a while. Should be done soon though, as this little bar here indicates. Yeah, once you're done, it's gonna tell you that it's done. And in case this is the first time you install Forge, you should run Minecraft with the new Forge version, because then it will create a mods folder. Uh, this this folder here, that's really important. Since I have, a, since I installed Forge a bunch of times already, I already had this. But as I said, if it's your first time and you don't have this mods folder, I strongly suggest to you that you run Minecraft first with the new Forge version selected. But yeah, once that's done, you probably want to get some mods, and one possible source for mods, or one possible website where you can get Minecraft mods is CurseForge. CurseForge is also the website where we have uploaded our own mods. Um, yeah, You just go to this uh, search bar right here, like type whatever you want. So I'm gonna type Attack on Titan. There we, are. we have our mod, Wings of Freedom. You click on the mod you want, then on f files, there you get all the, see all the files. Then you can download the file you want just like this. And for if you wish to run Wings of Freedom 1.16.5, you need one additional mod. If you press on relate if you click on the relations tab here, it's going to show you Lionheart, which is well, it's technically not a core mod. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to call it our library or core mod. 
you press on Lionheart, then you press on files once again, there you see all the files. And we're gonna, um, the changelog should always state what version of uh, Wings of Freedom it is for. So uh, we downloaded Wings of Freedom 1.16.5 row. So we should also get the corresponding Lionheart version. We're gonna download that as well. And once you've downloaded these mods, you should go into your downloads folder. And then you can just copy them into your mods folder. I already have them here, so it's gonna ask me to replace them. Yeah, uh, these mods are just a bunch of extra mods I have installed, nothing important. So once you have, once you drag the mods into this folder, you can start Minecraft. And it's gonna give you a little warning that ooh, the game is modded. We don't, you have to be careful with that, etc. Um, if you wish, you can read through all of that. But eventually you have to say, uh, well, you don't have to check this box. You can check this box so that they won't show you this message again. If you don't check it and then press play, this message will pop up every time you try to play my modded Minecraft. Since I personally don't desire to get this warning every time, I'm gonna check this box, press play, and then we'll wait. Now this this took this took some time, but Minecraft's finally starting. So yeah, if it's taking long for you, don't worry. Especially if it's the first time you boot up Minecraft with Forge installed. As I said, you should probably do that before installing mods if it's your first time. Uh, okay, so Minecraft has started. Let's go into a world. You cannot. You can create a new world. You can go into an already pre-existing world. Doesn't matter. Although, um, if you go into a pre if you go into a world with mods and then go in that world again without mods, there might be uh, some be some issues. So always be aware of that. But yeah, we're in game now. Uh, I have stuff from the mod because I've used the mod in this world before. But if I go to creative, I also have these new tabs here: Wings of Freedom, the three D maneuver gear parts and Lionheart and that's how you install mods for Minecraft. I hope this video was informative and we shall see each other again in the next video which will be about resources in our new or the new resources in our Attack on Titan mod. Till then, goodbye.